Okay, I'm going to do a quick review of the King's 15 litre fridge freezer. These are designed to be mounted mostly in the centre console. You remove the centre console from your ute and put this in. I had an Evercool 30 litre fridge and uh, by, I usually camp by myself so I found uh, the 30 litre one too big for me. I would fill it half full of ice blocks anyway. So I decided to go to this one. Uh, I also use this when I go away in my caravan. Uh, I have a small bar fridge in that. Uh, usually when I go away in my caravan, I've got my wife with. Uh, I use the bar fridge as a fridge. And this one I run as a freezer. Now it's not um, sturdy as an angle uh, with a steel frame. But then again, it doesn't cost as much. I paid just on $300 for this. And... Um, it, it's perfect for me. It does come with the um, 12 volt plug there. Uh, it only runs off 12 volts. You can run it on 240 volts, but then you have to buy one of these things here, which is the inverter, converter, whatever you want it. So you run it on 240 and it converts down to 12 and you plug your cigarette lighter plug in there. This here is the plug that comes with it. Um, and you just plug that one in the middle there to the fridge and of course the cigarette lighter plug into your cigarette lighter. So the fridge itself um, it's good size. I like it. So you've just got a dairy compartment here and you run that as your freezer. Now I find that I've been running it um, as a freezer and it will freeze quite comfortably down the bottom down there no problem at all uh, and I've had my milk small milk and some cheese or something like that in here uh, it runs runs perfectly the only thing is it doesn't come with handles so I have put this on here uh, and um, used that to carry it around with I'm lifting that with one hand so it is quite easy to lift. Uh, of course, it'd be different when it was full. Now I've run it. Uh, I had to have be isolated with my daughter in my shed for two weeks. So we ran this as a freezer with the 240 volt adapter. And it never missed a beat. Um, I actually believe it runs better than my Evercool. Um, well, I've had it out camping just the once, uh, and I was running off my 12 volt lithium battery in my trailer. It never drained the battery on the trailer much at all. Uh, and it was only running probably every 10, 15 minutes. And really being the small unit, it only ran for about two or three minutes and it had cooled it down to the, to the level where I was comfortable with. So all in all, um, it is a good unit. Um, yes, cheap, but, um, do you want to spend twice as much to get the, the Waco one? Uh, that's a choice you'll have to make. It depends on what you use it for, I suppose. Um, I totally recommend it. I reckon it's a good deal. So anyway, I'll leave it at that.